all right so first of all uh, today in this uh, webinar i will do weekly market recap and what is uh, going on in a major currency pair and uh, i will do also some requested pair on your request mainly i will uh, focus on euro usd gbp usd gold bitcoin nifty bank nifty and possibly nas 100 and other pair right okay bitcoin is also i will update one by one everything will be start okay now i'm going to uh, disable the chat section uh, for the for uh, for the next 30 to 35 minutes and after that i will again level chat section okay okay so first of all start from the euro usd chart and uh, look at the in a higher time frame what happening here in a higher time frame picture in a euro usd and what is the next move and what are we can expect in upcoming days in a euro usd let's switch into daily time frame first to see exactly what's going on here so right now you can see here market was uh, bearish momentum was here completely bearish and now turn into bullish and this is our last turning point and this is our lower high lower lows again lower low break the structure this is our change of factor as you know and market continue going higher high and market not taking out any inducement still so this is our single leg move is here like this market not taking out any inducement right here okay so finally what happened here market taken out this inducement and when market taken out the inducement then when our higher high is a confirm here which is our at this point right so when our higher high confirm here it means now market trying to push downside to mitigate our recent unmitigated auto block when we can expect market continue go higher because this is our unmitigated auto block and this is our unmitigated shadow we can use this one as a py right like here press type here gives a small action and possibly maybe market push downside because this candle taken out the liquidity right so when price taken out the liquidity then possible scenario is here market can push downside a little bit more downside to mitigate your extreme uh this one extreme auto block is here and then we can see continuation to the upside so right now what happening here look at this candlestick is here these candlestick means uh, you have to focus on the previous uh, candlestick what happening here look at this previous candle liquidity taken out and market pushed downside it means market very highly chances market can be pushed downside where is our py py is here this side is our py it means in a future market can be uh, tap this unmitigated shadow and then we can expect a downside move is here like this okay this previous candle high taken out and every candles high low act like a liquidity okay so if market push upside and mitigate this zone this is our high probability zone for the sell right and then we can expect a to the downside till this low right so this is a possible scenario as per the daily time frame structure now i'm going to switch here in a 15 minute time frame then what are we can expect here look at this picture is here this is our completely sharp move to the downside this move taken out the liquidity and push downside that's why this is our much high probability zone here for the sell we can see this move taken out the liquidity right it means this is our strong zone for the sell okay so market trying to go higher like this and once market enable or uh, tap this unmitigated zone we can sell here and same thing happening here and this is our internal structure and we can play here after taking out the inducement right and mitigate something here and continue go higher break the structure taking out the inducement okay and then uh, mitigate here this is our unmitigated order block go higher break the structure and you have to wait for taking out the inducement inducement is here right 
taken out the inducement, where is unmuted or block? Look at this one, right? Tap here and continue go higher. So this is a possible scenario in upcoming days in a Euro USD as per higher time frame as per the lower time frame. Lower time frame, we can see one more move to the upside before downside in a Euro USD, right? And then we can sell here. Once price mitigate here, you, you, you have to wait for it like a lower time frame confirmation like chalk, inducement, mitigate, auto block, and sell here, right? So this is a possible scenario in a Euro USD as per the daily time frame and 15 minute time frame. Now check out uh, CPUSD. Let's switch here in a daily time frame first. And in a GBP USD is a similar story as per Euro USD, right? And same thing happening here. Look at this candlestick behavior is here. This is a very interesting. The previous candle high taken out. And then what happened here? This side of act like a PUI, right? Look at this one. It means market mitigate this one and very highly chances market can push downside. And this is a not mitigate here. Look at this one, right? This is a not mitigate here. This side is not mitigate, right? So very highly chances we can see some downside move in a GPUSD in the next day, okay? But uh, this is a not uh, for the like uh, long term. This can be a short term because we are following the based on a candlestick formation, right? So the previous candle low is here. So market can be taken out the at least this low before to continue go higher. And look at this candlestick is here. The previous candle, actual candle is here, right? This taken out the liquidity and push downside and candle closer below it. And if market create anything is here in a bearish in this zone, then definitely we can sell here. Right, this side of act like a PY, okay, as per the daily time frame. And this is a behavior in a daily uh, candlestick, right? This is a not uh, based on structure. This is a just uh, based on the candlestick formation. But if you are willing to sell based on the daily time frame uh, structure, so this is a chalk. This is previous lower low, lower high, push down side, create new lower low, and uh, taken out the inducement, create new lower low sweep this high another higher high is here actual high is here so inducement also transfer here this become our inducement inducement taken out this higher high taken out to like this one okay so market taken out this inducement and possibly market mitigate this order block right and then continue go higher right and also possible because market taken out this inducement this is a chalk and then like failed and create inducement and go higher. This is also a possible scenario here in a GPUSD as per the structure formation in a GPUSD in a daily time frame. Okay. Now search here in a 15 minute time frame. Okay. So right now, this is our 15 minute uh, zone. This is a daily. Uh, unmitigated shadow is here and you have to uh, refine here this zone where is our possible scenario in this case look at this one this is our highest move before this drop this one okay so very highly chances market can go higher to mitigate this one and then push downside and look at this one so this is actually a reversal zone for the sell, right? So if market break this one, for example, there is a no reversal confirmation and market continue going higher high like this, then you don't need to sell here. You have to wait for it to take out the inducement and then continue go higher like this. So you have to wait for it that how market react here, okay? So if market gives any reaction, then you can uh, be interested here for sell. Otherwise you have to wait for it to break this high and then buy, okay? And one more possible scenario is here, or like tap here, and then market taken out the inducement and mitigate something, this order block, and then continue higher. But you can catch this move here for the short term. 
okay but if market actually looking for the reversal so this is our highest target is here this law okay so this is a possible scenario here in a gpost as per the 15 minute time frame and daily time frame right now switch here again in a next pair is a cold let's see what happening here start from daily time frame gold are extremely bullish here okay so what happening here look at this picture is here and this was our previous lower low lower high break this structure chalk create new higher high at this point taken out the inducement right and uh, mitigate something here okay because market keeps reaction at this point this is a not actual order block where we can interest it here for the buy we can buy here at this point right taken out this liquidity and we are interested here for sell this move but market failed to break this low when break this low so very highly chances market can reverse to the upside to mitigate at extreme risk and then push downside but market break this one and structure is a change continue going higher high so this become our new higher high higher low break the structure and now taken out the inducement and then continue go higher right okay so as per the uh, daily time frame is uh, daily time frame structure and this is our previous day order block so what happened here when price tap here market gets reaction at this point to taken out the inducement before continue go higher okay so it's so you have to wait for it to taken out the inducement before continuation if i search here in a 15 minute so in a 15 minute time frame is everything is a bullish here there is no reversal confirmation there is a no uh, pullback here so first of all you have to wait for it higher high higher low higher high again break the structure taken out the inducement mitigate this order block and continue higher or mitigate the extreme one because this one is extreme and then continue higher right because this is higher high taken out the inducement mitigate something here go higher taken out the inducement mitigate this order block and go higher taken out the inducement mitigate this order block and go higher and the next order block is here on the extreme this act like a liquidity right so this is a possible scenario in a, a gold as per the 15 minute as per the one day time frame let's see what happening a tail weekly candlestick formation is here uh, look at this press this looks like a relevant equal high okay so in a future market uh, create a new all-time high in a gold okay look at this picture because this is our inducement this is a, a momentum higher high higher low take the structure taken out the inducement after taking out the inducement mitigate this auto block and continue go higher high break the structure chalk and possibly have taken out the inducement but this is a weekly time frame right so there is an one inducement is here okay so market not taken out any inducement possibly go higher like this okay so in a future market uh, very high chances create new all-time high in a gold right let's switch in our next pair it's a bitcoin btc usdt what happening here okay so this is our bitcoin chart as per the daily time frame perspective okay and finally market create new change of factor is here okay because this was a previous lower low is here lower high break the structure create new lower low and when market create lower low price must be break the first previous lower high is here in a first time just sweep the liquidity we are playing to sell here and you can see a lot of sell opportunity is here right so probably we are willing to sell uh, again by after taking out the inducement because market in the next time can go higher as I explained in a previous webinar, right? 
finally close of it so this become our change of character is here chalk right so this become our chalk it means we can expect more uh continuation to the upside as per that uh, daily time frame okay now switch here in a another time frame lower time frame what happening here okay in a daily time frame picture is also looks uh, bullish right everything looking uh, bullish and uh, what uh, we can expect here in a next move i'm sorry okay so there is a, a no uh, opportunity right now this is higher high as per the like a previous high broken and then what happened here look at this picture taken out the inducement sweep and go higher <clears throat> break the structure this is a liquidity creation taken out sweep okay so probably we can sell here for the short term till uh, i'm sorry taken out the inducement right at least taken out this low and then continue go higher okay so this is a like in a ranging market and in this cases also you can play right but you have to play very carefully because the for the short term you can play but for the longer term this is a not a, a valid zone okay let me show you explain here wait a moment sorry okay so what what happening here look at this picture is here and you can play here in a like a both side like candlestick sweep after candlestick sweep but uh, this is a little bit uh, like risky but if you are not uh, able to play here like previous candle high sweep here okay candle close below it so when market taken out the previous candle higher low in any time frame like most probably in a higher time frame okay so this is a four hour time frame so this is a work for you okay then this side oh, this taken out the liquidity this one so this side oh, act like a py you can refine here in a lower time frame and then definitely you can sell here okay so now you have another range is here the previous and the next candle high is here and this candle low is here so if market did anything between this candlestick and this is inside move between this candle high or low because the, this candle high low both are protected here okay but if you are willing to buy and sell because those are micro uh move right you can understand like this actual candle high is here okay uh, this right this is the actual highest candle move is here okay and the high is here so this candle high low broken by this candle so when market taken out the previous candle low so this uh, candle side will act like a py right then market we can expect to the upside okay but in this case this is an inside move right inside move is here actually this one this is a previous candle here taken out tap here and go higher same thing happen here previous candle low sweep and this if we can act like a py and here you can buy here again continuing going higher high if market sweep this high and then push downside so we can sell here but what happen here if market 
taken out this low, uh, for example, this previous candle low taken out and go higher. So those side will act like a PY and you can buy here. For example, sweep here and you can buy here. Okay. And this is a four hour time frame. But when you switch here in a 15 minute time frame, then you can refine your zone and definitely you can sell here. Okay. Look at this one. This previous sweep here. Okay. And push down side. So you have to identify where is our uh, like a unmitigated PUI. Okay. Let's you have to check here the sweep. And this was actual zone here. Highest candle before the stop. This is a mitigation and push down side. Another time frame. What happened here? Okay. This one. The previous low sweep here. So this act like a PUI, this candle. Okay, broken this one again, pushed up upside. This candle taken out of the liquidity. So we can use this one as a PY. And this is a 15 minute. So in this candlestick, you can use a one minute time frame here. This one. Right. And uh, at this price, you can see a previous candle high sweep here. So where is our PY? This sweep. Okay. It means this candle taken out of the liquidity. What happened here? If market push downside, you can see this one is also. Okay. The previous candle low taken out. So what happened here? if price tap here, you have to buy here till this one and then possible to the downside. Okay. What happened here? If market push upside and then push downside. So probably we can buy here like this. So you, so you have to prepare on both side probability here. Okay. So first of all, you have to back test. You have to practice on your chart. This one, right? Look at this one. You can see everywhere. This thing you can see everywhere. Like the previous candle, low sweep here. High also sweep here, right? High and low both are sweep here. So in this PY, you can see supply also work. And demand also work like py in a both side both side py is a working here okay again break the structure sweep but this one low is also sweep mitigate and go higher so why are market going high high because market momentum is a bullish sell is a low probability buy is a high probability same scenario will be happening here sell is a sell low probability but buy is a high probability okay look at this one every time you will see short term sweep right and the push down side mitigate unmitigated shadow is here go higher high and this process will be continued this is a very detailed uh topic to explain these all thing okay so i'm just focusing on the understand a weekly webinar uh to uh the market recap okay so bitcoin and now i'm going to switch on the next pair is a Nifty Bank Nifty. All right. So first of all, uh, you have to check here in a daily time frame first. What happening here? So in a daily time frame perspective, market is completely bearish. And what up we can expect here? Look at this picture. This is a very interesting. And why this move happening here? Look at this previous candle low taken out. So this candle taken out the liquidity, this side will act like a PY, very highly chances. And this is a not a randomly, you can back test any previous candle high or low, right? When market taken out the previous candle high or low, those most of the time you will see market gives a momentum to the upside and downside. Okay. So tap here and going higher high. Okay. And look at this picture is here. This is a not sweep here. If this sweep here, then very highly chances market gives a momentum to the downside. Again, like not for the sell, but probably for the short term sell and then continue go higher high. Right. So every sweep high and every sweep on the structure also gives you a momentum. Right. If you uh, sweep the, in your pro trend, then gives you a big move. If 
sweep the against the trend then you will give uh, you will see short term pullback to the downside or upside okay i'm talking about the in terms of the candlestick formation and same thing will be process uh, same thing will be uh, in a higher time frame structure also okay so we can what we can expect here we can expect this is a trend line uh, let me draw first right so very highly chances market can go higher and then push down side and probably then continue go higher right this is the first scenario and then next scenario is here my tap here push down side and uh, mitigate here something and then continue go higher okay first market trap you then market uh, push upside and downside as per the direction so look at this picture is here what happening here right in a bank nifty it's the same process here look at this one sorry market trying to go higher high and this is a internal structure between the major structure right because the previous lower low is here lower high is here broken structure and this is the internal structure so what we can expect we can expect this high taken out so probably uh, we are playing to sell here put the structure okay and continue going higher high so uh at this point break the structure break the structure and when market break the structure then market keeps a small momentum to the downside before continuing right so taking out the inducement mitigate unmitigated shadow and go higher high and then you can sell here for the short term at this point right so how you can deal in this situation you know this is a single leg move is here so probably we can buy below it at least okay so we have a chance that market pushed uh, downside to mitigate uh, taking out this inducement then go higher so what we uh, what happened here the previous candle high sweep uh, at this point and this side will act like a py you can sell here right and i also uh, taken out this entity uh, on the friday in a hdfc bank actually right and same thing happen here push down side there is no sweep here okay so we can't take into here but market look at this one sweep here and you can buy here but for the short term but this buy is not much high probability why because look at this structure market must be taken out this inducement if market taken out the inducement and create any buy opportunity then definitely you can buy here right sell is much high probability so what happened here market taken out this inducement at this point right so if market created any sell opportunity which will be more high probability because look at the previous candle is here this one is also sweep here so this is a py because definitely right but you have to refine in a one minute time frame okay like this one is a refinement and they after taking out the inducement this one is also refinement uh, like the previous candle taken out and this one and this one and again switch here in a one minute time frame then you will see this was here actually you have to check here properly that where market close or not let me the sweep and push downside mitigate this sorry <clears throat> unmitigated side of is here and tap here buy put the stop loss just below it break this high put stop loss and break even push downside take out the low and continue go higher break the structure when you can buy you can buy first buy is here and next buy is here so these two buy here and in this case don't need to buy or sell after taking out the inducement you can directly buy or sell in this refinement zone simply right but when you have a multiple py then you can buy here based on a single candle mitigation is here for example this one this one is a first py you are willing to buy here but this one is also next py is here so probably a lot of people are confused here for the buy okay so let me let's see 
okay and the next tip ui is here okay so what happened here market push downside and create a single candle order block is here actually this one right so in this case you can buy a close blue above it and push downside stop loss just above it and the target is the previous high and why this previous high because the inducement actually taken out if market not taken out the inducement then you have to uh, set your target the previous uh, the structure high for example here okay like i i sell here i sold here here right and the target was here my target was here right because the inducement was my target here you bought here and probably stop loss or break even but this is a bring trade and this one is also bring trade based on this simplistic candlestick sweep right and same thing happened based on the structure based on the candlestick formation everywhere right look at this one is also possible here break the structure push downside and you have to buy here based on the what about i'm sorry you have to identify various unmitigated order block. Everything is mitigated here. Uh, this one, right? But at this time, there is no single candle order block is here. So you can't buy here, right? This candle, black candle must be close above it. Then you can buy here. If sweep, because there is a no sweep, but you have to buy uh, based on the next candle, single candle order block mitigation. Like this is an extreme type here and how you can buy here look at this picture the previous candle low is a sweep here right so this is our last buying momentum or uh, selling momentum before the stop this one and then what happened here you can buy here next candle close of it third candle mitigate and you can buy here put the stop loss just below it and you can take these type of confirmation when you have a multiple py multiple order block in that case right so these are possible entries is here based on the single candle mitigation and liquidity sweep in a 15 minute candlestick okay all right so now i'm going to switch another pair as a indices nest 100 let's see what happening here Okay, so I'm talking about the based on the candlestick formation, right? Because based on the structure, it's take a lot of time to complete daily time frame structure. Right? Okay, so what happening here? Look at this one. This is a short term move to the upside because higher time frame is a pair is in a NAS 100. Okay, so what are we can expect in upcoming days in a NAS 100? Okay, look at this one. Price continue going higher high and a market create new higher high is here right but there is no opportunity right now look at this picture is here what happened here this is our higher high and push downside uh, look at this one so what we can expect in this case what we can expect we can expect a short term sell here when we can expect this one why this one because the previous candle high taken out right it means this is our much high probability okay and this can be a short term right why because the actual inducement taken out this inducement taken out that's why this is high probability uh, sorry, this is a buy is a high probability compared to the, this sell. Taking out the inducement mm, here, maybe another time frame is a mitigation and go higher, right? But you have to focus on a same time frame, like you are willing to buy and sell on a 
daily time frame then you have to follow the daily time frame candlestick sweep and then buy right let me show you exactly look at this one sweep here and probably you are playing to buy here also you can use entire candle is here as a py candle close of it and the next candle open and then probably you can buy here again sweep here you can sell here for the short term because you are selling against again i'm sorry sweep here there is no entry here but brass type here gives a small reaction why because this is our supply market type here and finally go higher high sweep this one probably we can sell here like this okay now switch here in a 15 minute time frame then you can understand more better and clear look at this picture continuing going higher high break the structure break the i mean create new higher low break this one taken out of the inducement break the structure continue going higher high create new higher high taken out of the inducement push downside and this side is act like a py because this side taken out of the actual liquidity here then you can sell here for short term mitigate something here extreme and then continue go higher actual out of box is here right so this is a possible scenario in an s100 okay now i'm going to uh the next one let's see let's enable the chat section all right so your favorite pair i trade uh mostly in a gpst and euro usd nifty bank sir bank nifty i already done gold also done sir so you can rewatch this uh, uh, recap i will upload on youtube as soon as possible don't worry nifty nifty sir i already done so i have done a bank nifty so you can apply same uh, process in a nifty bank nifty everywhere okay same process say here the next uh, supply zone in a nifty is here around here because this previous high sweep here and push down side so we can see at least market mitigate this one before downside or continuation to the upside okay switch here in a 15 minute time frame to see exactly what happening here look at this picture is here same thing happening here how price is working smoothly is here look at this one previous candle low sweep here and buy here break the structure and start selling the previous candle high sweep here and sell here right pushing downside there is no entry sweep here but this is a no entry here again sweep buy right break this high and there is a no sweep here no entry here same thing happen here sweep and buy sell here and this is a contract and sell right because this move was bullish here i'm talking about based on the structure formation sweep here buy here sweep here and buy here sweep here and buy here and when you will uh, switch here in a lower time frame you will see a lot of opportunity here for the buy and sell sweep here 
and you can buy here. And this one is also sweep and buy here. Sweep and buy here. Buy on unmitigated auto block, unmitigated shadow. Sweep here. The previous high sweep candle. Extreme order block. And this one is also. There are two order block. So when you will see two order block, you can buy and sell based on the single candle order block. Type here. There is no single candle order block. Then you have to sell here on extreme. Type here, give selection, and you can start selling. First entry direct here sell and the next entry based on it, this one. But this one is a not mitigation, right? Your favorite time frame. I do a 15 minute and one minute only. All right, so no more analysis. Now let's say uh, finish some um, question answer. And after that, I will finish this stream and I will upload on YouTube as soon as possible. And no more analysis. Please ask one by one question, then I can read your question and definitely I will get to you. Which indicator use? I don't use any indicator. These are candlestick indicator, like no gap candlestick, this one, and uh, high low candles, previous weak high low, this is session high or low. These are normal indicator. Structure mapping indicator. So there is no structure mapping indicator. Simply you have to mark yourself manually, right? Monthly time frame Bitcoin, obviously they're in a twelve thousand. Yes, sir, in a Bitcoin. It's a $12,000 around the, the monthly order block. Let me read this one. BTC USDT. This one. This one is a monthly, like a monthly order block is here. So very highly chances market type here in upcoming months before the bull run, right? Because the previous is a break of structure, taken out the engagement, mitigate this order block and then continue to go higher. So it's take a lot of time actually. order block mitigate ho jata hai, tap ho jata hai, uska koi kaam nahi hai. Simple. Unmitigated find karo. Unmitigated shadow mitigate order block usme trade karo. Previous candle low sweep here. And this side, I like a PY if candle close over it, the previous high 12 days are left here. Then we can buy here like this. Sweep here. Possible scenario here to mitigate this one. At least then we can sell and continue to go higher. So these are possible scenario.
Okay, sir. So, Aman Randhava, don't be spam, otherwise you will be removed. Every day, every day. Yes, sir. I do uh, three, four times in a week trade because less is a more actually. When you understand the candlestick sweep, right? This is a very powerful, right? This is a very powerful when you understand that how candlestick sweep and work. And this is a very powerful to you. You can easily catch that what's going on and where is PUI, where is reversal. Why you don't understand fundamental, sir? Uh, technically, I don't know exactly how fundamental impact and how it work. So I don't focus on fundamentals because it it uh, it's tough for me to understand thing. Some people are more like a interested in a fundamental and work for them okay because it's up to you but for me it's a fundamental it's not uh, understandable for me that's why i'm not using i more believe i more believe in a technical way because chart is everything everything showing on chart then why you need to have uh, understand that how fundamental work and this thing. Sweep and entry. Sweep, entry. Sweep and this is also become a PUI here. If there is a PUI, maybe this one is a loss. But sweep, mitigate here and big move. So profit and loss, both scenario will be here. All right, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. Now I'm going to offer just this stream. Okay. So if you missed to enable, if you missed to watch this webinar, you can rewatch this uh, webinar. I will upload on YouTube as soon as possible. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend, everyone.